Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Scorpio, you guys got Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. Number five. I think they have to remind you of this because there's something going on in your life right now that you're not seeing the love, right? With this, this is a five. So that's a challenge, it's a conflict, that's a time of upheaval. And then you have the bear with the snake. This is a very interesting com combination because the bear can symbolize power, but with the snake, this is kind of like that king that's gonna, you know, take everybody's food and not give any to the poor. You know what I mean? This is like that type of energy. Someone who has a high responsibility because they have been given a lot of power, but they're misusing their power in a, a negative way. And I feel like that's why spirit is coming in to kind of bring you back from wherever the hell your mind is going where you think that this is like a better energy to be in or this is the way that you should be treating people at this time or you know because you're powerful because you're whatever the pa the position that you're in allows you to do certain things you think that you can misuse it so i'm getting a really negative energy with whoever this is so yeah me and my sister were talking about this yesterday where sometimes we don't have like a person that's honest with us that's telling us like yo you're messing up yo you're messing up you're messing up like you're fucking up right now like turn around like you're fucking everything up um and this is kind of that message i feel like from the divine like somebody might not be telling you on the 3d that you're messing up but you're messing up okay um again hopefully this was like a past energy but because you have the five present and not like a 10 i feel like that's not meaning that it's past that means that it's present and it's very much around you right now so you need to this is like your you know your wake-up call like you're fucking up like in some sort of way you're messing up you're treating either the people around you in a negative way or you're I honestly get someone who has a lot of power and this this talks a lot about a manipulation the two together so you either might be manipulating people I don't, I don't know what you're doing specifically but i feel like this is that call to like wake up because you know you're gonna lose your friends or you're gonna lose your family or you're gonna lose something important to you like maybe you're a boss and you know you have a lot of i mean if you're the boss you have power obviously but you're not using it in the right way you're gonna lose all your employees right like there's this some sort of way where you're misusing your power and you need to take a step back and that's what spirit's trying to with the speaker that makes sense right like they're trying to like say it very loudly like hello wake up like you're you're going down this path <laughs> that you might might not necessarily be able to come back from scorpio so let's pull some cards scorpio Okay, Scorpio, I'm not gonna keep pulling cards because every card that's coming out is very much <laughs> showing me that, you know, everything kind of has fallen down for you, right? This is for someone who, you know, you're, you're reaching a point where you thought that things could get bad, but now they get worse right and the people that you've been collaborating with the friends that you've had even like the partners that you had um seem to all be leaving and you're you're wondering why that is you're wondering why everyone in your life right now seems to be like running away from you where everyone in your life seems to be again you're like well you're not loyal if you're not here with me do you know what i'm saying and you're, you're kind of testing everybody but what i'm getting with this is like the reason that you might be losing these collaborations could have a lot to do with this dominating energy that you're giving out or that manipulative manipulative energy that you're giving out right you have the self card in reverse so you're not really yourself right now and that's the thing that you don't understand because you're like yes i am i am being myself this is a part of me but what you don't understand is this is a shadow part of you you're working from shadow right now so yeah everyone knows you everyone is friends with you everyone you know has kind of seen some of the good and some of your bad but right now you're just purely working in shadow with this energy here 
and the divine the spirits right they're trying to pull you back up they're trying to pull you in because you don't want to take it to the point of no return right the point where you lose all your friends the point where you lose all the partnerships that you've been like working hard to gain the part where you can't really come back you see um it's reminding me of this line from mac miller it's like remember this if you can't remember anything um remember love you know like remember love if you can't remember anything remember love and that's literally what you got at the end love and emotions So that's what I'm getting with this read. It's like you're losing everything around you, but it's again, you you don't really want to say that it's you because I feel like you're like, well, I'm just being myself. But what you don't understand is like everyone can tell that you're not you're not you're not really being yourself. You know what I mean? You're being this part of yourself that maybe some people haven't seen, or to an extent where you you haven't really taken it to this point before, and you're taking it very far. That's what I'm getting, um, Scorpio like we have a lot of losses here you know we have the three of cups in reverse we have the three of coins in reverse we have the ten of pentacles in reverse so you'd be losing friends you'd be losing family people that you used to work with people that you a three of cups like it's not really a celebration anymore it's not a party anymore but the the spirit is trying to say like the truth of this matter is that a lot of it has to do with you again you have every three here in reverse yeah you have the three of coins you have the three of swords and you have the three of cups in reverse now you also have a queen of air here who i feel like might not be necessarily wanting to work with you anymore someone who again doesn't want to rebirth or doesn't want to you know this could talk about somebody in your life um an aquarius libra or gemini who you know this could be a, one of the people that you're losing um and this could have been someone that you had the most love for because they're next to the love card um this could also be you if you have air in your chart like you not seeing straight you not seeing necessarily the the light at the end of the tunnel or you're just not you know, you're wondering why nobody really wants to work with you at this time or why everyone's kind of running away from you. And you have it's because you're not necessarily seeing that the the source of all that is you. Right. The source of like people running away, the source of people like not, you know, it's kind of like, why is everybody leaving my party and going to somebody else's party? Like, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. Um, and it's kind of like because you're bringing this like negative attitude to the party. Right. So everyone's just going to it's like those movies, right, where somebody new comes in. Um, it's reminding me of this stupid show that I used to watch. But yeah, it's like everyone, it, it's like they're cheerleaders or something. And then this new cheerleader comes in and the new cheerleader is just actually really nice and, you know, wants to throw a party. But, you know, the the team, the, the leader, cheerleader, whatever, the like queen cheerleader has a problem with that, obviously, because she feels like everything, all her friends are leaving her and all her friends are, you know, you know gonna like this person more than them it's like kind of coming from a place of insecurity so what do they do they like act worse and they act more mean and they act you know a little bit crazy to keep all their friends around but that's just playing into the hand of like the new person right so that's kind of what i'm getting here like you're kind of self-sabotaging yourself but you're not trying to but you just are right like you're not you're not trying to like get people to get away from you you're not trying to push people away but you're doing that in trying to keep them around even like that could also be a thing for you like the more that you try to keep the power and you keep the people around you the more dominating was it domineering like the the worse you seem and then the more people kind of get away like want to leave your presence so <sighs> scorpio this is a hard read but i feel again remember love right like come back to love love is all around right you have love here in the beginning and the end with emotions so there's something that, that you have to remember to bring you back to the other side of yourself because you're sitting in shadow and i don't know how to like pull you back remember this is like that thing that i was saying where it's like sometimes you have a friend that you know you're, you're not there to call them out and they do stupid shit and then you know no one calls them out and then you know two years later you're like how the hell did my friend end up here and it's because no one was like literally telling them you know you're doing something stupid you're fucking up like turn around um it's reminding me of the song topanga um um the whole it's like a it's like a trippy red song but all he keeps saying is like stop right now you're in danger stop right now like he just keeps saying stop right now you're in danger um yeah just keep like stop right now and i feel like that's what spirit is trying to say like stop right now um you're you're headed to a place where you might not be able to return like if you think things could get 
things are bad now they can get worse and that's something that i feel like you're not grasping at this point because again you're trying to recuperate what you lost so you're trying to hold on to everybody you're, you're doing something now that can make it even worse yeah and i feel like you're yeah you're just losing all these connections with people you have again this could have been a breakup we have the king and the queen of pentacles in reverse so this could signify a breakup um you have this queen of air here again right so again you could be have a lot of air in your chart or you're dealing with an air sign so we have a lot of earth which is air um sorry taurus virgo capricorn we have air which is gemini libra aquarius um we have the emperor here so i feel like this could be you or we have aries in your chart but yeah, it's like you're losing all the relationships close to you right now. And I feel like this is a message to stop. Like all these people have a lot of love for you right now. That's actually what I'm getting. Yeah, a lot of these people have love for you right now. But if you take it to a point where you can't return, um, people have to choose themselves and people have to choose their health and people have to always put themselves first. So if you make it uh, get to a point where it's like they have to choose themselves over you, then yeah that's 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 how you're gonna end up alone so i keep getting like remember the only thing that you can if it's the only thing you can remember right now it's let love you know love is the answer you're moving in shadow and you have to move the way you used to move which was in love which was in emotions you could be blocking your emotions right now numbing yourself um from the pain and that's why your shadow is out I honestly feel like you're not yourself at all right now. You're working in shadow. And then we've all been there where we're working purely in shadow because we're, something has been triggered within us. And I feel like it's just getting worse and worse for you at this time. And like this is the point where you can turn everything around. But you see how the cards went five, six, seven? That's what I'm afraid of. You're progressing, but like in shadow. So I think it's like either you keep going, but in the wrong direction or you turn around now. Okay, Scorpio? It doesn't matter what you're losing at this point or what you've lost. You can still regain it all. That's what I'm getting. You're at the five and you're going to the six and the seven, but in the wrong direction. You can stop right now at the five and go to another six and seven, like a positive six and seven or us, you know, going back to who it is that you are. But if you keep progressing in the way that you're going, you're going to lose more than you've already lost. And I don't know how else to tell you, but that's what I'm getting. Let me pull some advice for you, Scorpio. Yeah, I keep hearing that song's Topanga. Like, I could take you to Topanga. Uh, stop. They just keep saying, stop right now, you're in danger. Stop right now, you're in danger. I don't think you're physically in danger. I think you're in danger of losing more than you think that you've, than more than you've already lost. All right, Scorpio. You have Serata Devi. A lot of feminines want to come out. Like, the whole deck fell. I feel like there's a lot going on, especially with the feminine side of you, with the emotions, the love side, right? That's where you probably feel hurt, right? Or betrayed or something happened. And that's what's like, I feel like someone like, there's a leak, right? And it's like, you know, if you lose any more blood, like you can't come back. I don't know why I'm being like descriptive like that, but that's what I'm getting. Like there's this like point of no return that I keep getting with you. Um, and with Sarada Devi, the divine mother, unconditional love exists within me. The, the presence of love is the absence of judgment. I feel like you feel like everyone's judging you right now, all right? And that's your shadow. And again, you're getting something about love, unconditional love. So I kept saying the answer is love and you have love, love and emotions. And then you get the divine mother and she's saying unconditional love exists within you. So you feel like maybe everyone's judging you, but is it because you're actually the one judging them? That's the first thing. Have you been judging others? And yeah, you have judgment out here in reverse. So have you actually just been judging others, right? And then you're like, well, everyone's judging me. Everyone's like looking at me in a certain way. But were you, are you the one that's actually doing that? Um, it's reminding me of this defense mechanism from Freud. It's like, um, I can't remember the name of it. If it's opposition reliance or some shit like that, I can't remember. It's like you feel like everyone is judging you. So then you, be, but in te like in reality, you're the one that's judging everyone. Do you get what I'm saying? So Scorpio, I'm pretty sure it's projecting, projection. That's the defense mechanism that you're using right now. I think that's what you're doing where again, it's like you're, you feel like everyone is judging you, but it's only because you're actually the one that is judging others at this time.
I feel like in reality, you have a lot of people around you who love you, deep down love you. It doesn't matter if a relationship ended. It doesn't matter if friends are not like, you know, as close as they were six months ago to you. The reality is that these relationships were formed in love, right? And if you're not in love right now, you're not connected to your heart, you're projecting, right? You're kind of pushing everyone away because you might be in some sort of pain. That's why, that's all they're seeing. Like the, all they're seeing is like you pushing them away. They're not, and they're like, what happened to this beautiful relationship that we used to have? This person's just pushing me away, but you're projecting right now. You're literally doing, this is some sort of defense mechanism that you're using in your shadow form. Like you're 100% in your shadow form. I'm not afraid to say that. I'm afraid to tell you that whatever, I mean, you might be doing other things. All I'm getting from this is like projection though. So again, you can look up the chart to see like if there's other shit that you're doing. And like, I mean, honestly, um, I feel like we all have these, ten these, some of us have negative qualities. Like I was watching the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial and you know the psychologist was telling her that she was like a narcissistic she had a personality disorder and i'm like i want to see if i have any of those qualities like because i'm always trying to figure out my shit always like that's that's just what i do um that's why i'm fucking here and um yeah i realized that there was something that i do that was like a tactic of manipulation i was like oh my god i can't believe i do that like i can't believe that that's like a ta you know i thought that was normal and it's not so that's what i'm trying to say like to get answers, you have to kind of look for them. And I'm trying to tell you to go look for them. I keep getting that trippy red song. So again, stop whatever the hell it is that you're doing because I don't want you to get to the point where you can't, you know, make up with your friends or you can't, you know, you're gonna lose people in your life that you don't want to lose, but only because you're in shadow. And even in your shadow right now, be like, well, I don't need these people. I can lose them. I don't care. You do care. You do. So yeah, Scorpio, I love you guys. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye.